Do you usually type the same thing at the end of your email messages, over and over for each new message? For example, a formal closing or your contact details. I got tired of doing this. That's why I now use email signatures in my messages. I'll finish sending this message, and then I'll show you what I mean. Whenever I create a new message, my signature just appears, automatically. And because I have more than one signature, they help me solve other problems, too. For example, during the course of a day, I correspond with different types of people, business associates, clients, and friends and family. Having different signatures helps me quickly sign each message in a way that's appropriate for each type of correspondence. If I'm sending a message to a family member, I can quickly switch from my business signature to my personal one. Let me show you how I set these up. Getting started is simple. From any new message, I click the Signature button and then click Signatures here at the bottom of the list. Here in the Signatures and Stationery dialog box on the Email Signature tab, I control most things about my email signatures. As you can see, I already have three signatures. To create a new signature, I click New. I need a new signature to use when I correspond with people about my new volunteer job at the Baldwin Museum of Science. I'll name this signature Museum. And I'll type my basic information. Next, I'll add a hyperlink to the museum's website. To do that, I click Insert Hyperlink and type the URL. I can change the color of the text by selecting it and choosing a color. I'll make it green. I'll make the first two lines of the text bold. Now I'm done, so I click OK to save my signature. Remember, I haven't inserted the new signature yet. This signature here is the personal signature that was already in the message. Here's the perfect opportunity to use my new signature. I'll reply to this message about volunteers at Baldwin. And I'll use my new signature. To make changes to any one of my signatures, or to change the default signature setting, I go back to the Signatures and Stationery dialog box. You saw how to get there from a message, but you can also get there this way. Tools, Options, Mail Format, Signatures. To set a default signature for new messages, I use this area of the dialog box. Most of the new messages that I create are to people within my own company. So my default signature for new messages is my plain business signature. You can see that any one of the signatures that I've created is available to use as the default for new messages. If I want to start each message with no signature and add a signature only when I want to, I can set the default to None by clicking None. I can also set a signature to use for replies and forwards. My plain signature will work here, too. Okay, I've set my defaults. Now let me show you a trick that lets you quickly switch between different signatures. I'll start by creating a new message. Because I have a signature already in this message, my default signature, I can simply right-click it and select from this shortcut menu to switch to any other signature. I'll click the Museum signature. You'll notice, too, that this shortcut menu offers a quick way to get back to the Signatures and Stationery dialog box. I'll click it now. There's one last kind of signature that I want to show you, and that's a signature that uses an electronic business card, a new feature in Outlook 2007. I'll click New to start it, and I'll call this one PIA Business Card. To create this one, all I do is click the Insert Business Card button, click my name in the list of contacts, select a display size for the card, and I'm done. I'll switch to the new signature now so that you can see it. Notice that this business card signature includes a picture of the card and an attachment, so I can quickly and easily share my contact information. As you can see, there are many ways to use signatures and many ways to create them. Now that you've seen how easy it is, why not try creating a few of your own?